Hello everyone, my name is Dipesh and I am a student of class 10th D. Today, me and my group have prepared an art integration activity on the topic Sikkim on all the three subjects of science, respectively as biology, physics and chemistry. And I have chosen biology for it. So I hope all of you like our group project. First of all, it is flora. It is a brief description of flora and fauna of Sikkim. Very few of us know that Sikkim's botanical and zoological richness is inspiring boasting more than 4,000 species of plants and 30% of all the birds found in the Indian subcontinent. But due to the altitude that varies from sea level to summits that touch the skies, flora and fauna naturally covers a wide spectrum. This is flora and a brief description of the flora of whole Sikkim. As we all know, that Sikkim has a diverse variety of many species of flowers like orchids and have a total of 600 species of only orchids. Also, the noble orchid is declared as the state flower of Sikkim. Till 10,000 feet of altitude, there are terraced farmlands in which rice, maize, barley and millet are grown. Moving forward, this is this is a collage of different species of flowers prepared by me and hope you all like it. Next is fauna that consists of mammals such as snow leopards, Himalayan black bear, red panda, musk deer, blue sheep, etc. The next two slides are also, are also given for brief description. You may pause the video to read it. This is another collage of mammals present in Sikkim at very high altitudes. Now comes the last but most important part of biology art integration project that is organic farming. Very few of us know that Sikkim is considered as the first 100% organic states in the world and organic farming is also closest to the traditional Sikkimese way of farming that is rain fed with low external inputs. For it, the Chief Minister of Sikkim took many steps and it involved to, uh, and it involved whole 12 years. The first step was in 2003, Chief Minister Pawan Chamling announced the vision for Sikkim to be the India's first organic state. In 2010, the state launched the Organic Mission, an action plan an action plan defining the measures to implement in order to reach the target of converting the entire state to organic. In 2015, Sikkim declared itself the first organic state in the world. It is the first time in history that such that a state set such an ambition vision and also achieved it. As certification was seen, as a crucial part of the transformation, 80% of the budget between 2010 and 2014 was used to build the capacity of farmers, rural service providers and certification body and to support farmers in acquiring certification. Many measures were also undertaken to supply farmers with good quality of organic seeds such as the strengthening of local organic seed development and production. To improve soil health management, the government has provided support for farmers to perform 40,000 soil tests per year. And this was the Biology Art Integration Project of Sikkim. Hope you all like it. Thank you. Before starting our presentation, let's remember the quote of Martin H. Fisher that Facts are not signs as diction is not literature. Now let's decode Sikkim with the vision of chemistry. Rather being a panoramic and picturesque landscape, so-called traveler's paradise, it has been adored with the seizable deposits of minerals and its chemical assets which lies underneath. So today, we are going to classify Sikkim on three bases. First, its minerals, its pharmaceutical sectors, and the type of soil form. Minerals are one of the most important assets of any particular area. Minerals are found underneath the earth. Minerals only can't be the enough for the self-sufficient for the development of any particular area. 
it should be accompanied with proper technological development and also a proper institutional setup. Coal. Coal is one of the most commercially wide mineral. Coal was one of the most important mineral accompanied during the industrial revolution of the Great Britain. Coal reserves are found in Sikkim as well as in the uh, in the area which is so called Rangi Technoi Vido Zone. According to the uh, departments of minerals, mines and geology, they have been estimated that nearly 1.40 lakhs tons of coal is found underneath the Namchi area of the Sikkim and also 70,000 coals have been found under the South Sikkim. Now let's have a look at the composition of coal. The primary composition of the coal is it's the presence of carbon. Now let's have one of the physical and the chemical properties of the carbon. Atomic. Carbon's atomic number is 6. Its mass number is 12. One of the most physical popular property of the carbon is the property of its catenation. So what is catenation? Catenation is a process by which an element combined with with each other forming a long chain but it has a special reference in the case of carbon as carbon combines with each other which forms much longer chains than any other element and also much stronger quartzite quartzite is the high grade of quartzite is found in sikkim with 90% of silica in the south east and west zone of sikkim which are rani khola and mansara district and it was estimated by the geological department and of mines and minerals that nearly 70,000 tons of quartzite have been found in this state. And also, the, it is used in various commercial values as, as a decorative materials of making roof and the ceilings, uh, uh, ceiling tops, your dining table, etc. All your grocery stuffs. And one of the most popular and, uh, property of this element meant is that it has a high grade resistance towards the granite thus it has a wide ranging uses and also it is crushed in for the construction marble sikkim is adored with the seizable deposit of marble around its state in the districts of the slong and tuong and also now the uses of marble have been focused on its commercial exploitation Graphite. Graphite in Sikkim is found in the very large composition and it has a very commercial use. The graphite found here in, are in the north as well as the west district and the areas the graphite is made up of 40 to 60 percent of carbon and it has various uses. First of all we have a look at its physical and chemical composition of graphite that is graphite is a non-metal but it conducts electricity. It can be seen in pencils and lubricants. Pharmaceutical sectors. Sikkim is blessed with number of pharmaceutical industries here, providing employment to the larger section of the society. Here, there are approximately 16 industries of the pharmaceutical sectors which produce medicine and which is not only sufficient for a country but also it is exported to the rest of the world. Some of the notable laboratories found here are Alkeem Laboratories and the Sipla Industries. Soil. According to that survey done by the Land Sources Department, it was found that the soil here had the pH level of 5.42, which is slightly acidic. Now let's understand what is this pH scale. pH scale is a German, was discovered by a German scientist. It is a scale consisting of number 1 to 14 where the number 7 denotes that the solution is neutral and when we decrease from that scale that is coming 7, 6, 5, 4 and so on till 1 the solution turns acidic and also when we go up from 7, 8, 9, 10 and 14 so on till 14 then the solution is basic thus it helps us to determine whether the solution is acidic or basic. The word pH in which P stands for potence, which is a German word, which means power. Thank you.
we will like i will like that what is that which helps us to find the reasons of the various phenomena which causing in our environment physical world or universe today it's physics physics has helped us to know the reasons of the various phenomena happening in our environment whether it is lightning whether it is the electric induction or and what not now we will like to, i will like to tell you i will like to report sikhi with the essence of physics in it. in recent years physics uh, sikhi have like to see improvement in various infrastructure like whether it is the building of hydroelectric project setting up of electric solar parks and what not all these infrastructure project have been successful due to the use of physics physics mathematics and its various fields now there are many, the scientists from the sikkims are radha krishna sharma and mrs prema kathika now there is one hydroelectric project set up in sikkim which is jor thank loop hydroelectric project which which is located which is built on rangi river a tributary of the tiska river located in south sikkim district of in india sikkim is one of the happiest states in our region this dam hydroelectric project was built by dance energy private limitation in collaboration with the central and the state government a, a very high amount of this was spent to construct this which is 1182 crores i repeat 1182 crores its energy output is 96 megawatt or 129000 horsepower or we can say that it is annually its account for now annual production of this hydroelectric project is 43.03 gigawatt hour or we can say that 443.03 into 10 raised to the power 6 kilowatt hour or you do you will be surprised to know that per cap that cap that you will be surprised to know that that the total cap per capita income of electricity consumption in sikkim is 687 kilowatt hour annually and total energy used by sikkim in the form of electricity is 1249 gigawatt hour so you can and so you can now know that that this project contribute one third of the total electricity consumed by the people of the sikkim this ambitious hydroelectric project was inaugurated on 29 october 2015 by by pavan chamli the longest tenure of the, the longest the person to have the longest tenure of cm in india now i will like to tell you how electricity is produced in dam you will be know that the dam stores lot of water in its reservoir and when by when rains falls the reservoir gets full then there is a perter pen stops which act as a canal in in dam you can you can see the inside structure of hydro power plant then this is the reservoir when it gets full this control gate this is the control gate it's get open now we know that as the depth increases there are pressure of water in the when the control gate is open the water rushes to fill this gap and when and they, at the end of the pen stock there is one turbine the fast moving water rotate this turbine at a very high speed which which is connected to the connected to the generator through a shaft 
or you can say an action. Now you can see this when the water rushes to the rushes to the pan stock, this water is this flowing power is enough to rotate the turbine, which is connected to the generator through a shaft. You can see the this inside structure. You can assume the height of this and the and the biggest and the size of this this ma machine that this is the this is the man and this is the machine you can assume the size of this machine now there is one transformer connected to the generator with the transformer work is to change the voltage and in high current and vice versa then this and the energy produced is supplies to our power is supplies to power lines and this is supplies to for the domestic and the industrial purposes here is the information of tista river bridge you can see now this is the picture of the tista river bridge built on the embankment of tista river now this is the what i want to tell you how load is how our ship base is useful and how load is distributed in it this is the keystone when the pressure is on keystone or this rock or in this structure or in this place the load is the load is distributed and goes to the uh, structure made in the embankment and this is the why our shape bridge are prefer are prefer for the small width but for the long but if the river is long then we have to make bre arm bridge uh, arm bridge because vertical supports is need to be provided it's time to discuss education which is the more which plays a pivotal role in every aspect of life which whether it is socio or culturally important or economically now sikkim the illiteracy rate in sikkim is 82.2% and male dominance is 87.29% and female 76.43% Let us talk about the number of schools and universities there. There are 1,157 schools in the states, which are some of these are owned by privates and are and others are run by the government aided or government. There is one institute of national importance and one central university and four private private university in Sikkim. Private university in Sikkim. for offering higher education for the sustainable sustainability or sustenance of life and to make sikkim a powerful state now there is one national institute of technology which is one of the best nit and the fastest growing nit the param kanchenjunga or the param series of supercomputer are based here so you can know the importance of this nit now various courses in science and other fields are provided so one may opt to go national institute of technology for their higher studies this is the nit of sikkim and here you can see the symbol also it this in sikkim there is a tradition to teach value education so you can see a monastery here